Welcome back, everybody. It's good to see you all again. Hope everybody's enjoying their day so far. And as you recall, last time we were here, we were working on uh, lettering. And the target was, and today our target is, I can draw 3D box letters and make them look 3D by drawing letters that are the same height, same width, same thickness, and then shading them in to make them, to emphasize the 3D shape. So I'm going to start with this, these basic guidelines, and we're going to do two letters for this exercise. So I'm going to just split this in half here. All right, so they're going to fit in here. I'm going to leave a little space in between my letters so that I have room for that 3D part. All right, today I'm going to use a couple of letters that have some curves to them. Yesterday I used uh, letters, straight letters. All right, so I'm going to try to get, here's a B. Okay. And then um, let's try another, an easier letter now for the second one. I'll go with uh, an E, okay? So there's the stick part of the letter. Now I need to create some kind of thickness to the letter. So I'm going to use this as a center spine for my letter here. And then here's the, uh, the thickness of this part, okay? So the B, when I'm drawing this B, this should be the same thickness as this, okay, and this here too, along the same. So the same thickness inside. So here's my B, and then here's the B here. Okay, so this is finish B. I'm going to darken these lines here. Like that. Okay, and then, just so you can see how it's looking, I'm going to erase some of these lines here so that we can see the, the letter like that. And we want the same thickness inside here. Now, the B might get a little thinner in here because this is actually splitting in two. The E, now, E is easy because it's just rectangles. Okay? Just rectangles. Think of each stem as a rectangle. Okay, and consistency is the important part here. Consistency, they're the same height, the same wideness, except maybe an M is a little wider, maybe a W is a little wider. And the same thickness inside the letter because that's the style we're doing. And to make a style, we need to be able to have that consistency. Okay, so there we go. We're using caps because caps have less curves to them. So now I'm going to do the, the uh, isometric effect to it. So each corner and each edge gets this 30-degree angle pointing out. Now I'm just doing every corner, every edge, even these ones in here, just so I could see the 3D effect. And sometimes I need that line to help me draw other lines. Okay, here in the corner of the B, that might be in here. Uh, here's this uh, here's this angle here. Here's these parts here. Okay, this one, I'm gonna re-angle that. Okay, and it's good to do them all at once so that your hand is making that same motion. So now, uh, I do the the opposite side, the other side of the letter. So here's the B, okay? And then here's the bottom of the B, and when you come to a curve, it's gonna kind of curve it out like that. The inside of the B is trickier, T, an R, uh, because this is really the same line as the other line. It's, it's the same line, it just has to be projected backward more. So I'm showing you this here because saying that it's parallel isn't entirely accurate because really this line is intersecting that one. Okay, they are the same line though. They're just overlapping each other. Okay, so here too, I, I may want to do this so I could see that this is the same line like that. And then this is the darker piece here. So here, if I lighten this up now or erase this, 
right, I could see that projected effect. Right? And that's the projection. It's, it's being extruded is a term in art. An extrusion is when you uh, push, like a prism is extruded. The prism is like that clear piece of plastic that's shaped like a triangle on both sides. Well, that's a prism. A prism could be any shape, though. Uh, it could be a square. A prism is that concept where one side is the same as the other side. So that's kind of what's happening here. And now here's the E, which is pretty easy. Okay. Just parallel lines. No trouble at all. So give yourself a challenging letter, like a curved letter, and then a less challenging letter, like a, a rectangular letter. Okay. E is definitely easiest one because it's not even angled. There's no angles to it. So now I'm going to shade in, and I'm going to just start here with this inside here. I'm going to decide that this inside here, uh, the left side of the object is going to be my darkest. Uh, no particular reason, but one of the edges could... I would suggest just because they're smaller. All right, shade nice and smooth. Let your pencil get dull. Hold the pencil in the same position each time. Nice smooth shading like that. Okay, and this is the corresponding side. So this is like the bottom. All the bottoms, I'm doing the darkest. I'm counting that inside of the B as the bottom. I also did the inside of the B because it's probably where light would have trouble getting to since it's inside that circle Leo shape. And so, but the B is actually the side and the bottom, you know, so technically it could have gotten lighter here, but we'll worry about that another time. Okay, and then the rest is just practicing your shade, smooth shades, uh, trying to get a rhythm going and a pivot. You're pivoting on your wrist, on your arm, your fingers, Okay, and try to get nice smooth shapes. You're going back and forth fast, slowly across the shape, similar to where your printer, if you have a printer at home or you've seen printers printing out, right, they go back and forth fast across it and then slowly go across the shape. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to go lighten my pressure on the pencil. And I might even move my pencil out a little bit. So I'm actually pushing less, putting less pressure on the pencil. Now, I don't want to see the line so much. And it's good to maybe go in the same direction as the angle of the isometric shape. I'm going to go back over it again, just trying to smooth it out a little bit, try to stay in the lines. I can go back and erase to trim it out a little bit. But there's the B. Okay, and here's this uh, section to the A, or the E, rather. Okay, and now for the lightest one, I'm just gonna kinda come over. It's areas like this, you can go over the darker areas, it's okay. okay. Because it's just gonna darken that up a little bit, even here. So I just need to worry about that inside of the B part here. Again, I'm kind of going over the other shaded areas that I did. It'll just darken it up a little bit more without disturbing it. And I'm trying to get my lightest shade of, of gray on the face of the letter, the side facing us. Okay. And you want a light, a medium, and a dark shade. A light, a medium, and a dark. So this got a little dark. So I'm going to just come back over here. To darken this up slightly, like that. Okay, and there you have it, everybody. I can draw 3D box letters and emphasize the three-dimensional shape of the letters by drawing letters that have the same height, the same wideness, and the same thickness inside the letter, and then extending the angles out at 30 degrees to create an isometric shape, and then drawing a parallel line next to that to connect those lines, and then shading it in with a dark, medium, and a light shade of gray to emphasize the 3D effect of the object.
That's our fatty cast for today. Tune in next time. Okay. Stop recording.